Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we're gonna do something, we're gonna actually revisit something. So, hi Doodle, thank you for joining us today. Doodle, the Prince of Dogness, everybody. So what we're gonna do today is, I got this as a gift. This is uh, Redneck Cafe Bacon Hot Chocolate. Now, if you remember correctly, I think it was about a year ago, we, we did this, uh, we just did it as regular hot chocolate. But I noticed that on the back, there's instructions on making mocha. So basically it's the same instructions as making the hot chocolate, except instead of putting it in water, you're putting it in coffee. So I have some coffee here, I'm just making now. And I also have some uh, bacon that I crisped up and then uh, kind of ground, so I can add that to that if I don't think it's bacony enough, but we'll see. So we're gonna try it this time as mocha instead of as uh, regular chocolate and uh, see what this is all about. It smells good, it even smells bacony. Let's add our coffee. and we are making bacon mocha. Stir this up a little bit. I think it's gonna be pretty hot. Let's try this. Cheers. Ooh, it has kind of a metallic smell to it. Hmm, I don't know, I mean, to me, it tastes like mocha. I'm not getting a whole lot of bacon taste out of here. Just a little bit, not much though. Hmm, all right, I'm gonna add some of this. Let's see if that helps. Now the problem is the bottom of this is gonna have bacon sludge, but uh, we're just sipping off the top, so that's okay. Hmm. Better, but it doesn't have that, it doesn't have the saltiness and that kind of oiliness of bacon. Even with the extra added bacon in there, maybe maybe like bacon is just not meant for, for this. I'll just put a little bit, you know, another spoonful of this in there. I'll try that. Okay, let's try this now. Well, there's little pieces of bacon floating around there, so I'm getting bacon in my mouth. Of course, it's gonna taste like bacon. Let's see if we can uh, get an unfiltered mouthful here, or a filtered mouthful. Yeah, I get that bacon flavor, but to be honest with you, it's, it's like, it's almost as like, like whether it's the hot chocolate or whether it's the mocha, does it really need bacon, you know? It's kind of a novel, it, well it is a novelty. The bacon's nice, it's a nice flavor in there, but it almost it almost tastes like it doesn't belong in there. So even when I actually put the, the uh, crushed bacon in there, it added more bacon flavor to it, but it, it's almost as if, it, it, if it's, it's just not needed in there. which is why it's a novelty. It's not bad. Um, if you like that bacon flavor, it's kind of nice. It's not really strong. And again, I augmented that with regular bacon and it still isn't really as bacony as you think it would be. Um, but you know, still it's decent. So I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Uh, it was a, a nice uh, novelty. I believe this was a Christmas gift from Claudia, Mrs. Trippy Food. 
So um, thank you, Claudia, for that. And um, we're just gonna finish the rest of our redneck bacon mocha and, um, and hit the road. But it's crazy out there, so please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it, and we hope to see you again soon.